Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back today after two weeks, finally with the review of the Drunk Deer A75 um, magnetic switch keyboard. And we're gonna also compare it with the Wu-Ting 60HE, of course. And we're gonna just talk about the performance, talk about the value, and if you should get one for yourself. So, um, as you can see, I've been using the black version for about two weeks now, a little more than two weeks. I've been playing a little bit of Apex here and there. I've just been using like daily driving it. So I've been like typing up emails, typing up stuff that I need to need to type. Just been at my computer for a while. So, and I have actually really enjoyed the keyboard. I haven't touched the Wooting 60 HE once after I unboxed the Drunk Deer A75. And I don't know, it's because I like the black color or I just prefer maybe the layout over the 60% as I'm not gaming as much anymore. Uh, back in the day when I used to, a couple months ago when I used to play a lot of Valorant and CSGO, I probably prefer the Wu-Ting because of the 60% form factor. I have more space um, on my desk if I want to move my monitor a little closer and I, I want to like swing my mouse around a lot. Then I would probably prefer this form factor, but the the seventy five percent form factor now I think it's a it's a perfect form factor for me as I'm not playing as many games I only hop on when my like friends are on and I'm just like using it to type most of the time and I have dedicated arrow keys for when I want to code and when I want to like move around on my desktop and I have a volume knob which is very useful um, so to adjust the volumes whenever I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos movies or whatnot. So I think I have enjoyed the 75% layout a lot more than the 60% because of my usage. And if if your primary, if you spend 90% of your time on your computer gaming, then I would understand if you prefer 60% layout over 75% layout. And but for me, it's not uh, it's not the case. I probably spent probably like 20, maybe 10% of my time now gaming. So. I really enjoy this for the typing experience it provides also, and it also feels a lot more sturdier than the 60HE. 60HE is quite heavy, but this one is a little heavier. And the chassis feels very solid. I didn't have any uh, QA issues, and the keycaps feel very smooth. It feels a little bit more slippery, but these are aftermarket keycaps on my 60HE, so maybe uh, it's a better quality for that, but the these keycaps feel a little bit more slippery and But I kind of like it. It's kind of like a gives me like a smooth feeling when I'm typing and the typing experience is a lot better on the drunk deer compared to this Wu-Ting um, I know the Wu-Ting comes factory lubed I'm not sure if the drunk deer comes factory lubed, but it sure damn sounds like it and Whenever I'm typing with this thing, I'm just amazed because I've been using Wu-Ting 64 like past year or two and I got used to the typing experience with this, but the typing on the A75 is amazing. Like, I want to type on here as much as I can. So, maybe I'll start coding again, who knows. Um, but yeah, if you're just going for like the typing experience, get the drunk deer for sure. And if you're like just pure gaming and you want to, you prefer a much smaller chassis, like a 60% compared to a 75%, and if you're also like traveling a lot, I would say, because it's like, it's less keys, you can like bring it on the go. Sometimes, because over the summer when I did my internship, I brought my Wu-Ting to the office with me and I just put it in like a, I have like a little keyboard case and I just like take it with me. And it was, it was quite convenient. I'm not sure if I can do the same with the 75%, but I, I, I will try to take this thing to the office because the typing experience is so good on this. And I love the color too. I think I'm, kind of getting into more darker like black color now I'm changing my style up a little bit I used to be into like white colors and stuff so I have my white color keycaps on my Wu-Ting but I think I'm like falling back maturing into into black color things and it matches with my setup a little bit more better uh, black mouse pad and I'm currently still rocking this mouse with the black accents and my desk is black monitor is black so yeah uh, so I've been enjoying the keyboard a lot, and let's talk about gaming. So I have adjusted to the keyboard to 0.4 millimeters on all keys, and I just been rocking that, and it's been fantastic. I haven't had to like 
misclick anything because it's 0.4, not like 0.1, you know? On Wuting, I can put it to 0.1 millimeter and that would be way too sensitive. Like I would like shake my keyboard and activate some keys, you know? On, on here with the 0.4 millimeters, you don't have that mistake. You, you don't like just shake your keyboard and activate some keys. You, you have to like intentionally try to press it to activate them. Um, so it's been, it's been great for gaming. I played a little bit of Apex. I just hopped on Valorant for a little bit, just in the practice, try like some counter strafing and whatnot. It, it felt smooth. And as you know, on my Wooting, I also have the WSD um, set to 0.4 millimeters. So it's just about the same sensitivity. So I, I don't see like a clear advantage of Wooting over this. Maybe there's some like tiny bit of performance. Like I know they have like Tycon mode uh, on the Wooting that it has like a boost of, of latency. But this one, it doesn't have that. It just everything you can just do it on the keyboard you can switch between 0.4 and like uh, 3.6 millimeters by just on the keyboard you press the function 2 and then you press 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it's a 9 increments you can adjust all keys and I just leave it on 0.4 and it's been amazing for me so uh, let's talk about the software so this was a big issue for me uh, and that would I would say that was that would be the clear difference between the Wooting and this besides the form factor and the, and the price is the software so i downloaded the software for this drunk deer a75 for one day and i deleted it right after like it was actually like pretty horrible compared to the wooting the wooting has such nice software and you can even like you don't even have to download the software for the wooting you can also like use it in your browser so it's like amazing and so software side the wooting definitely beats the drunk deer I know the Drunk Deer is like a, a little bit newer company, so maybe they they're gonna have a couple software updates for their for their firmware and stuff. But yeah, it, the the software application was honestly like unusable. So I just did everything on my keyboard and I deleted the software because you can you can already do everything on the keyboard. You can adjust the LG, LGB RGB L. <laughs> RGB uh, and then you can adjust the actuation points and you can adjust everything on the keyboard so uh, I didn't even bother to use the uh, software after I deleted it I don't see a need and the Wooting has nice software you all know the you can set per key actuations in the software you can have different um, you can set different like profiles in the software and you can like download other people's profiles so yeah the software side Wooting definitely has an edge over the drunk deer and now let's talk about the price. So, as you know, Wooting 60 HE doesn't come cheap. Um, $175, not including shipping and tax. And it's not even in stock. You have to pre-order it. And if you want to take control keycaps, it's $220. So, yeah, it's a hefty price you have to pay for the Wooting 60 HE. 60% keyboard, it's nice, but like it's expensive. And if you're on a budget, look no further because with my discount code user Flynn, it's only $107 for more keys, a volume knob, better build quality, but just like a worse software and, um, and a little bit of maybe gaming performance, like a little tiny bit. So yeah, it's, almost half the price of, of the Wooting. So, uh, I mean, if you're on a budget, I would look no further. I would just cop an A75 and, and enjoy, you know? And especially if you're not like a big gaming nerd, if you don't spend 99% of your time gaming and you do a lot of like typing emails, coding, whatever, schoolwork, this is literally perfect. And if you have a Mac, this also works with a Mac compared to Wooting, which doesn't work with a Mac. So. You can even get this for Mac if you want to play some games on the Mac, you know, League, whatnot, works perfectly. So I would say if you're not purely esports driven, if you don't spend 99% of your time gaming, you don't need the Wooting. You can just get away with this with almost half the price. So, but if you want the pure performance, if you want to be the best, like you're a gaming nerd, you, you want to go pro or you want to like, have the latest and greatest gaming esports tech, then the Wooting can satisfy your needs. But if you're just chill, you know, laid back, 
you go outside, you take showers. I would say get the get the drunk deer a a seventy five. So, yeah, that will be the review of the of the keyboard. Uh, I have a link in the description if you want to cop the keyboard. Use my discount code userflynn give you twenty percent off. Hope you guys have a nice summer and maybe I'll post another video soon. Who knows? Stay tuned. See you guys. Peace.